Hello and welcome. I'm Coach Kozak from HasFit, and this is my Ignition HIIT workout. This workout is great for both men and women of an intermediate to an advanced fitness level. And best of all, it doesn't require any equipment whatsoever. I'm going to do this entire thing with you today, and it's going to work your total body. Every body part that you have is going to be worked to failure today, so I hope you're ready to be tested. If you are, let's get this thing started. So for most of the exercises today, we're going to use what's called the Tabata Technique. We're going to do 20 seconds of hard work, followed by 10 seconds of rest, and repeat. The first movement we're doing this with today is called a Hindu Squat. So we're going to have our feet shoulder width apart. We're going to come up on the balls of our feet. First movement back, as it is with any time we squat, it's going to be weight back in your butt. So we're going to sit down, weight in our butt, hands on our side. And as we come up, you're going to swing your arms forward and pull, rowing in. So we're going to go ahead and repeat that. Weight back in your hips, hands come up, and roll, pulling in. So we're going to get as many middles in as you can in 20 seconds. Ready? Up on the balls of your feet and hit it. Stand up on the balls of the feet the best you can during the entire exercise. There's a few different versions of this one, but we're going to do it on the balls of our feet the entire time. Good. Weight back in the hips. Pound them out. Get as many as you can. Three, two, and one. Good. Now we got 10 seconds of rest. Shake out your legs for 10 seconds. We're going to do it all over again. And three, two, on the balls of our feet, and hit it. Same thing. Again, weight back in the hips. Stay in balance the best you can. Definitely a hard one. We're just getting it started with the hard ones right from the beginning. There it is. Weight back in the butt, and pull. Good. Keeping that good posture. Rest. Good. Shake them out. 10 seconds to shake them out. Three, two, one, and hit it again. Good. Weight back in the hips every time. You don't want the weight over your knees, but instead, sitting back. Good job. Come on, keeping it up. Moving. We've got 20 seconds to get as many as you can in. Go, go, go. The workout is going to be this pace. Come on, keep it up. And stop. Good. Three down, one to go. Shake them out, shake them out. And three, two, one, go. Last 20 seconds of work on this one. Sitting back, weighting those hips. Now that you really got it, move. Getting the rhythm going. Keep it going. Good. Come on, feel that rhythm. Dropping the weight in the hips as fast as you can. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one. Good job. Hindu squats are done. All right, the next one's on the ground. We're going to do a floor row. So go ahead, lie on the ground, feet are flat. We're going to take our elbows. We're going to press our elbows into the ground, bring our upper body up off the ground, and pull. So it's here. Just as you would do like a row with a dumbbell or a barbell and you're pulling in, but instead we're going to pull our upper body up off the ground and squeeze our back together. Okay, here we go. 20 seconds of action, followed by 10 seconds of rest. In three, two, one, and hit it. Good. Holding that back up off the ground. Don't turn this one into a crunch. Your abs are going to want to help because this is a hard movement, but don't let them help. Do it all with your back. There it is. Good, good, good. Pull, pull, pull. And we got five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Ten seconds of rest. Now we're just 10 seconds, flies by. And three, two, one, hit it again. 20 seconds to get as many rows in as you can. Driving those elbows into the ground. Nice, good. Again, trying your best to take your abs out of the movement. They want to help, but don't let them. And three, two, one, zero, good. And rest for 10 seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Keeping it moving. We're halfway done with this one. Pull, 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 pull. Nice shot. Come on, keep it up. Driving those elbows into the ground. Keeping those abs out of the exercise. In three, 
two, one, zero. Good. 10 seconds of rest, and we only have one more set of this one. Really concentrate on making your back do the work on this one. Three, two, one. Last set, everybody. Last set. You got it. Come on. Good. Driving those elbows into the ground. Taking your abs out of it. Good. Pushing through, pushing through. Only 10 more seconds on this one. Come on. Fighting with me, fighting with me. And five, four, three, two, one. Good job. On to the next one. All right, so there's nothing fancy about this next one. We're just doing a good old fashioned push up. But again, we're doing 20 seconds of hard work followed by 10 seconds of rest. So this is definitely going to add up. So no matter how good of push ups you are, trying your best for 20 seconds followed by 10 seconds of rest. Okay, here we go. And three, two, one, hit it. 20 seconds to get as many in as you can. Remember to breathe. If at any point in time you get to a point where you just can't do any more push-ups, go ahead and come down to your knees. And if you can't do them from your knees anymore, then you can go ahead and go up to the wall and do a wall push-up. And rest. Good. First 20 seconds in. Shaking out those arms. Doing what you got to do. Catching your breath. And here we go. Next set. 20 seconds to get as many as you can in. Moving, moving, moving. Come on. If I can do them and talk, you can do them. Let's go, come on. Keeping them moving. Push for me, push for me. There it is, there it is. And five, four, three, two, one. Good, and rest. Shake them out for another 10 seconds. That's halfway done with this one. And we're getting started in three, two, one. Hit it. Come on guys, let's go. I told you at the beginning this was gonna be tough. Come on, let's go. You said you were up for the challenge. Let's go. Come on. Moving, moving, moving. Come on. In five, four, three, two, one. Good. And rest. Shake it out. We got one last set. Now this one could completely burn out those arms in your chest. It's okay. That's how it's supposed to feel. Two, one, zero. Last set. Come on. Get it. Get everything you got. Put it all out there. Come on, guys. Come on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I'm fighting too. I'm hurting too. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice work. All right. We're moving on to your core. We're going to do a reverse crunch. You can either put your hands out to your side on this one or under your butt. I'll leave that up to you. We're going to put your feet straight up in the air. We're going to bring your hips up off the ground and back down in a controlled fashion. You only get about an inch or two range of motion on this one. That's how it's supposed to be. All right, 20 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Straight up and straight down. Make sure you bring your hips all the way down to the ground in between repetitions. And you're trying to put your flat foot Onto the ceiling. That's your goal. Obviously not going to happen, but that's what we're looking at. Good, good, good. Come on, keep it going. Three, two, one. And rest. We get 10 seconds of rest. Enjoy your rest because as you've learned, it definitely flies by. And three, two, one. Next, hit it again. Remember, 20 seconds to pound it. Let's go. Come on, guys. Doing great so far. While the rest of your body parts rest. Working those abs. Come on. Let's go. Keep kicking that ceiling. And three, two, one, zero. Nice. Feet are down. Take your 10 seconds. We're halfway done with this one. Good. Breathe. Get one nice big full breath. And hit it. Let's go again. All the way up. All the way down. Bring those hips up as high as you can. And try your best to keep your legs straight at the same time. Nice. Just a couple more. And three, two, one. Good. My abs are starting to burn. We got one last set. Get ready for it. Give it everything you got. Here we go. And three, two, one. Last set. Come on, guys. You can do it. Last set. Pushing through. Pushing through. Good, good, good. You got it. You got it. Don't give up. 
Don't stop. Don't slow down. Come on, let's go. Three, two, one, zero. Nice job. That one's all done. All right, we're gonna hit your legs again. We're gonna do a reverse lunge plus a knee raise. I'm gonna show you from the side. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna step back and do a reverse lunge. Drop that back knee. And as you come up, you're gonna bring your knee straight up. So we're gonna do all one side at a time and we're gonna alternate between the right and the left. So the first 20 seconds, all right side. Here we go. And three, two, one, hit it. Stepping back, knee up. Stepping back, knee up. So your legs are under constant tension and they're not getting a break on this one. Bring that knee straight up. It's also working your core. Nice shot. Knee up and back. Drop the knees to about 90 degree angle on both knees. And great, that's 10 seconds. So now we're gonna do the other leg. So for me, it's my left leg next time. And here we go, next set. I'll show you this one from the front. And three, two, one, hit it, stepping back. Bring that knee up. Try our best to keep good posture on this one. Don't bend over. Good. Hands around your hips. Stepping back. Bring that knee nice and high. Good, good, good. Three, two, one, zero. That's halfway done. We're going back to the opposite leg now. Shake them up for 10 seconds. And time to go again. Give me that side view. Nice, come on, let's go. Now that you got the hang of it, let's really crank the pace on this one. Push yourself, get as many reps in as you can in this 20 second time period. Nice, come on, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Check them out, 10 seconds of rest. We got one last one. Here we go, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Three, two, one. Let's get this party started, let's go. Come on, push them. Remember what brought you here today. You got some goal you're working on. Let's get there together, let's go. Not gonna get there by relaxing. We're gonna get there by working. Let's go, come on. Push yourself, because nobody else is gonna do it for you. Three, two, one, zero. Now it's on to the next one. All right, we're going to be round for the next one. It's called an arm hauler. We're going to start in a prone position on the ground, on our stomachs, arms are out in front of us. We're going to bring your feet up off the ground, hands are up off the ground, we're going to swim, and then press forward. Swim, and press forward. Repeating it for 20 seconds with our 10 second break. And ready, here we go. In three, two, one, hands up, feet up, and start swimming, good. Get a big old range of motion on that swim. Bring our palms to our sides before we press up. Good, keep your feet up off the ground the whole time. This is working your shoulders, your delts, and your core, lower back. Good, everything's hit, getting hit on this one. Keeping it moving, and rest, good. Okay, 10 seconds, a couple big deep breaths, and three, Two, one, back into it. Let's go. Good. Getting our four sets of 20 seconds of working. Good, good, good. And breathe. This one does kind of catch up to you. Nice. Come on, keeping it up. Pressing forward. Those shoulders are going to start to burn. It's okay. Now we know it's working. Three, two, one. Good. And rest. Enjoy your 10 seconds. I know I am. And three, Two, one, let's get it again, everybody, come. You're doing great, keep on pushing. We're gonna persist until something happens. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Good, almost there. And breathe. Three, two, one, zero, good. One last one, everybody, one last one of these. One last big deep breath. And three, two, one, hit it. You got it, come on. This is it right here. Come on, move, move, move with me. Moving with me, fighting with me now. 
How many can you get in this last 20 seconds? Keep those feet up. Don't let your hands touch the ground. Good. Keep the hands up off the ground. And it'll be easier if you let them down. Three, two, one, zero. Good. Cross that one off the list. Staying on the ground for the next one. Again, nothing fancy about this. We're just doing a traditional sit-up. All the way up, all the way down. We're going to shock your system because we're doing it in such a difficult manner. Feet are flat on the ground, coming all the way up, all the way down. Let's put our hands on our chest. 20 seconds. Ready? Hit it. Go. Good. Breathe. Coming all the way up. And we want to also focus on controlling the way down. Don't just totally flop, but do control the eccentric or the lowering phase of the exercise as well. Good. Come on, pushing the pace, pushing the pace. Three, two, one, zero. Good. First set down. Wait in 10 seconds. And here we go again. And three, two, one. You got it. Let's go. Come on. Burning that core up. That hurts now, but think about how good this is going to feel when this is all over with. Come on. Come on, pushing through, pushing through. You don't have to be better than everybody else. You only have to be better than you were yesterday. Come on. And three, two, one. Good. Scoot in here, okay? 10 seconds. Oh, it flies by, doesn't it? Three, two, one. Here we go. Come in. Let's go. How many can you get in this 20 second time frame? We're already more than halfway done. Come on, burn them out. Maybe you can get whether it's 30 or 3. I don't care. Just push it to the limit. Push yourself to your max. Let's go. Dig in deep. 3, 2, 1, 0. Good. Only one more, everybody. One more. And 3, 2, 1, 0. Go get it. Come on. Let's go. Focus on what brought you here today. Focus on what is motivating you. This is it. We're right here. Pull it all out there. Burning that core up. Whew. I'm hurting too. Thousands of people at home. We're all hurting. You are not special. We're all hurting together. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one, zero. Whew. I'm glad that was done. Back up on our feet, we're going to do an alternating one leg deadlift. So, on one leg, we're going to put our weight back on our hips, bend at our knee, opposite hand is going to reach across, touch our toe, come back up. Now we're going to do the opposite leg. Back leg goes back, bending at the knee, keeping good posture back up. So we're just alternating back and forth between the right and the left for 20 seconds. Here we go. And three, two, one, let's go. 20 seconds. Make sure that you're bending the knee as well as bending over at the waist. I don't want you only bending over at your waist and at your back. Good. Bending at the knee as well. Good. Kick that leg back, leg back. And reaching across, trying to touch that toe every time. Good. All the way up. Between reps, stand up big and tall. Three, two, one. Good. Okay. Shake them out. One down, three to go. This is the last one for your legs for the day. And again, right back into it. Here we go. 20 seconds. How many can you get? Challenge yourself. Let's go. Challenge yourself a little bit every day. And that's how we grow. Everything you want is outside of your comfort zone. Let's go. Come on. Three, two, one. Zero, good. Halfway done with this one. Couple big deep breaths. Here we go, three, two, one. Right back into it. Try your best to keep your balance. Helps if you keep your eyes focused on something. Find a focal point for your eyes. And again, bending at that knee every time. Not just bending over at the waist. Three, two, one. Zero. Only one more to go. Here we go. Shaking those legs out. All right. Three, two, 
Let's hit it, everybody. Last one for the legs for the day. Fighting with me. Let's go. Come on. Burn them out. Finish strong. Finish strong. Don't limp to that finish line. Sprint to that finish line. Let's go. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Good. All right, as you can see, I'm back to the ground for the next one. We're gonna do three fast push-ups followed by a 10-second isometric hold. So we're not doing the 20-second, 10-second on, but we're doing two minutes straight of one, two, three fast push-ups, and then you're just gonna hold up top for 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Big deep breath before we get this going. And three, two, one, three push-ups, hit it, one, two, three, and then hold for 10. That's it, right there. And again, if you need to on this one, you can come down to your knees. And three, two, one, go, one, two, three, and hold. It's not gonna be too bad at the start, but trust me, two minutes in, it is gonna catch up with you. And three, two, one, again, one, two, three, and hold, keep that core nice and tight on this one. Whatever you do the whole time, don't put your butt up in the air and don't let it sink. Here we go again. One, two, three, and hold. Good job, everybody. Breathe. You're looking at not only with your shoulders, but your core as well. Again, one, two, three. And I want you to get those push-ups in as fast as you can. That's the name of the game on those push-ups. All about the speed and quickness. And here we go again. One, two, three, hold. Keep that core tight. If you haven't come down to your knees yet, don't. Stay tight and strong. I know how bad it hurts, but keep moving. Again, one, two, three. That's gonna work. I'm burning too. Everything I have is on fire. Gotta push through the pain. Here we go. One, two, three. Excellent job. Not much left. We've got 30 seconds left. That's it. Only 30 seconds. Ready. Hit it again. One, two, three. Good, 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 good. Holding on tight. Holding on tight. Big deep breath. And go. One, two, three. Nice. Come on. We only got one more. One more. That's it. Almost there. Home stretch. Home stretch. And three, two, one. Go. One, two, three. Last 10 seconds. Hold. Hold, 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 Three, two, one, zero. Nice job. Boy, one more round to go. Big deep breath. Okay, last step to the day. And the same technique we just used with the push up. So we're going to do an isometric leg raise followed by a line leg raise. So we're going to hold 10 seconds here. And then we're going to do one, two, three, back to hold. So ideally, your feet are not going to touch the ground for two minutes. Yes, this is just as fun as you're thinking it's going to be. Okay, here we go. And three, two, one. Start with three leg raises. One, two, three, and back to hold. Ideally, you're keeping your feet six inches above the ground. That way up here, not resting on the ground. Six inches is what we're looking for. And again, one, two, three, and hold for 10 seconds. Keep your legs nice and straight. You see how I have my hands up in my butt? You don't have to put them there, but most of them do like it because it does take a little pressure off the back. One, two, and three. Good, again, and hold. Three, 10 seconds goes by fast, so. And here we go, three. Two, one, again, one, two, three. This is it for the day. This is the last exercise. Now, you think about what you want to in your day, focus on what motivates you. And let's go. One, two, three, good. Think about the goals that you're going to accomplish by getting through this. Think about the consequences. If you don't get through this, what's going to happen? Here we go again. One, two, and three. Excellent. We're more than halfway done with this one. Holding strong, holding strong. Don't let those feet drop, whatever you do. Again, one, two, three, and back down. Good. 
Don't bounce those feet off the ground either in between reps. Keeping them up. And again, one, two, three, and hold. Good job, not much left everybody. Not much left, digging deep here, digging deep at the end. Three, two, one, go, one, two, three, and hold. Nice, nice, nice. Hold and breathe, hold and breathe. Three, two, one, hit it again, one, two, three. We got one last one everybody, one last one, that's it. That's it, one last one. Hold, 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 and hit, one, two, three, and hold for 10 seconds, that's it. 10 seconds, you got it, 10 seconds is nothing. You can do this all day, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold the one down, three, two, one, zero. Excellent work, you made it to the end. I emptied my tank out on that one and I gave you everything I had. So I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. If you did, make sure you check out Hasfit's website where we have hundreds of additional free workouts. We have our free meal plans to lose or gain weight, as well as our complete 30 to 90 day fitness programs. All there for you as a service for free. Please do me a huge favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel because it'll really help us keep everything free. Like us on our Facebook fan page or follow us on Twitter and we'll make sure you get the best daily motivation. While you're at it, stop by our store, pick up a t-shirt or a poster, whatever it takes to help you stay motivated and keep you on track. Well, I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit, and I'll see you at your next workout.